is Joni Pemberton with Simply Vegas, and we are in the Ridges, and we're also in the subdivision of the Ridges, which is called Red Hawk. And we are in a two-story home. This is what we're going to tour. A two-story home, and it's 7,307 square feet. It's on the 11th hole of Bear's Best Golf Course. It is six baths, four bedrooms, and much more. So let's go in and take a look. So in the entryway, we have these 30-foot ceilings, and it's hard to see up there. <laughs> and before we go into the living room, well, I think we're going to start over here to my right, and we'll just take a look at the, the front of the home, the rooms in the front of the home. So we have a half bath. You first walk in the entry. We have a downstairs suite that is pretty large um, and it, it has a door to the outside. It has a pretty big room. Let's see. Walk-in closet. It's crown molded. And it has a full bath. I'm gonna to try to do this house fast because it's so big. I wanna have enough time to see all the rooms. By the way, this house, this room is 23 by 18. And it's crown molded. Next, we're going into the office, and it's crown molded as well. It has this lovely tile, um, tile is polished travertine throughout, 20 by 20 tiles, square tiles. It has this built-in desk, pretty nice with granite countertops, rosewood color cabinetry, has some nice little bookcases built in over here. Nice lighting. There's lots of light in this house. <clears throat> Moving on into the formal living room is right here. Formal living room has on the diagonal of fireplace. And again, it has crown molded ceilings. And in this room, this is a media room. It has its own pocket doors. Come on in. Um, <clears throat> the media room has a strip view from this window through the trees. And again, it's on the 11th hole of Bear's Best Golf Course, which you can see through the window. And we'll go to the backyard, which is pretty charming. We'll do that one last. There's a lot to see out there. This family room is 23 by 20. So through here, as you can see, when you first walk in, you see the pool, vanishing edge pool. And down at the bottom of the stairway, there's a, actually a little fire pit. This lot is 26,000 square feet, so it's huge. So we have a granite wet bar. Butler's pantry that has a wine cooler. Sub Zero. Over to the left, we have the pantry.
and we have a huge island here in the kitchen. The kitchen's a pretty big one in. So most of the countertops are granite, and then this is a different kind of granite, so it's pretty, really pretty nice. This window is pretty phenomenal. It's a huge bay window. It has its own door to the outside. The kitchen is also crown molded. And we have Sub Zero refrigerator freezer combination. <clears throat> Wolf stove and cooktop. <clears throat> Two dishwashers. <clears throat> Wolf hood. Wolf microwave oven and oven. So moving right along, we'll try to keep the clip going here. We have a three quarter bath over here and it's <clears throat> to accommodate the swimmers. So it has a vessel sink and slate, tile and shower. Moving right along again downstairs, we have a laundry room that has a granite countertop or a matted sink and these um, cream color travertine, polished travertine floors are throughout. Next, we go in the garage if you want to. Three car garage. First, walk into the one car garage, and then the, th third, the t other two car garage are over here. They're all connected. Looks like there's two vacuums. To the right is a game room, if you will. A little wet bar. And off, and we're walking into the front of the house again, the other side of the front of the house. And we walk up into this workout room that's all mirrored. One side of the wall is mirrored. Exercise room. There's another door here that goes out to the patio in the front of the house. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna go upstairs. The first thing that you come up to, to, into this, the loft area, it's kind of a little room, game room, if you will, at the top. But the stairs, they come out here, there is a patio that extends the back of the house up into the, fan, up into the master and we'll get there later. So we're going to go into that bedroom next. So this patio is pretty phenomenal, nice and scenic. And again, <clears throat> it goes all the way from the first bedroom on the right in the back of the house all the way to the where the master begins and you can see the pool up here nice pool vanishing edge i don't know if you can see straight ahead like in line with the jacuzzi there's a fire pit out there and we'll, we'll take that out when we go up, down there oh and, and off to the right at this angle there is a built-in barbecue and they even have tumbled travertine down around the patio around the pool
<clears throat> we have in this room, we have crown molding and recessed lighting. So at the top of the stairs to our right, let's come on to, into this bedroom. This bedroom is 18 by 14. Again, it has its own sliding glass door that goes out to the patio. I'm not gonna open it. Um, and again, it's crown molded with recessed lighting. And it has a walk-in closet and a full bath that is all travertine with granite countertops. So down this hallway to the on the way to the master, we're gonna show I'm gonna show you a bedroom that's gonna be on our right hand side. And again, over here we have the open uh, railing to the entryway with a clear story window. And there's some clear story windows over the stairway to the left. <clears throat> this is bedroom number three. It is 18 by 16. Again, it has access to the balcony. And there's a walk-in closet. And it's in suite. Kind of the same countertop, granite countertop. Wood. The bathroom is also crown molded, as is a bedroom with cam lighting or recessed lighting, if you will. Nice windows. This master bedroom is. 21 by 16. It has fireplace, <clears throat> nice windows for the golf course. And, oh, you see the strip views all lit up up here. By the sun. And this master has its own patio. I'm finding these doors difficult to open, so I'm not going to open it, but you get the general drift. Next, this is a different color travertine, team, a little darker in the master bath. And over here, we have the water closet to the right. Shower straight ahead. size master bathtub, dual sinks and a vanity in the middle, and going into the master closet, master closet's nice and roomy, kind of has a two sides for two different people. I didn't mention is this has an elevator in this house but I'll show you downstairs this is smaller on the diagonal smaller tiles and, and then the bigger tiles um, not on the diagonal over here we have the elevator I didn't mention I don't want to get in it <laughs> but nice to have an elevator 
Okay, next we're gonna go see the pool and the huge backyard. As I indicated, this is like a 26,000 square foot lot and has this tumbled travertine or tumbled marble patio. Nice big patio. Again, strip view. There's a tree in the way, a branch. Come on down here. Pool's nice. Jacuzzi's nice. Vanishing edge. Built-in barbecue. Do you want to pan around to show the perspective from down here? So we're looking at the kitchen, and above the kitchen is the master. And then if you pan around over here, you see the nice balcony, and then the covered patio below that goes into the entry of the family room. <clears throat> and then down here, we're gonna take a look at the fire pit. And you can get the breadth of the lot, the 26,000 square foot lot, and how it's right on Bear's Best Golf Course. The vanishing edge pool. Nice lawn here. What up? <clears throat> the pool size is 27 by 52. Kind of a quarter of a circle. So this concludes our quick tour of this 7,307 square foot home. I wanted to do it quick because it's so big that I didn't want you to get bored with it because it's really kind of an interesting house, but I think it's good. So if you have any interest in this house or any homes that you've seen on any of my videos or any homes in Las Vegas or Henderson area, please feel free to contact me with my information below and please subscribe to my channel and um, click on the notification bell if you want to be notified of any upcoming videos. Thank you.